Hello and welcome to my channel. I wanted to talk about lap books today because we are a lap booking family. I've shared in another video that years ago my son was struggling with reading and we just took a year off and we just did five in a row and did lap booking with www.homeschoolshare.com. Tons of free resources for lap books. And if you don't want to know what a lap book is, I'm going to show you. So we have been going through American history and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to read How to Make a Cherry Pie and See the USA. And I love this book. There's another one on seeing the world and um, both are just excellent. And it just follows a girl on her journey. She's going to make a cherry pie completely from scratch. So she also needs to make all of the materials, meaning like the pie pan and the rolling pin and the pastry slab. And she just goes around America and collects um, like resources to make these things. And then if you go to the very back, it talks about the process of like how she's going to make the rolling pin and how she's going to make the spoons. And it's just super fun and um, lots of American pride. So what we did is, first of all, I went to homeschoolshare.com and I printed off all the free resources for this lap book. Um, they have a cover, but I always let my kids make their own cover because it's just kind of fun. And I went to the Dollar Tree and bought these foam letter stickers. So you can see my son used that and he actually colored it in, which I thought was really creative. And I just gave them free reign um, to do whatever they wanted to do as long as it said the book title. So he decided to make it red, white, and blue. Um, on the inside, I found this really cool craft on Pinterest. They just took a hole punch and punched a bunch of holes in the blue and cut out the red stripes and put it on there and make the American flag. We talked about the history of the American flag and talked about a lot of symbols of the United States like you'll see here. We talked about um, the national bird, where that came from, um, of course the flag, um, heat, you can tell a lot of it's upside down because he did it like this, <laughs> uh, Statue of Liberty, we talked about the history of that, um, the national anthem, that history, a Liberty Bell, that history, the White House. And actually, with the national anthem, I went on Spotify and just like made a bunch of American like play. It was American playlists, so American songs like "Proud to Be an American" and "God Bless the USA" and things like that. So that was lots of fun. Um, we did a unit study on George Washington, and I just went on Amazon and just found a book. I think I paid like five bucks for this book, and it was so good. Um, as you can see, it's a best-selling series, and it was not a very long read. We read like two or three chapters um, every Friday. And it was just, oh my goodness, like I think even as a mom, I'm still learning and I learned a lot about George Washington I didn't know. Um, so with the materials from homeschoolshare.com, um, it talks about the legend of George Washington and the cherry tree um, and how he told the truth. And anyway, it turns out that's just a legend. It's not really true. The other legend is that he had wooden teeth. And actually it mentions that in the How to Make a Cherry Pie and See the USA book. Um, she talks about the only president rumored to have wooden teeth. But that was also... A rumor is not true. And so as we read through the book, the kids would have to write facts down. Um, he died from a cold. Let's see, he wrote that down. Uh, his mom was mean. He was very brave. So my son, he wrote these all down before he stapled them. Um, his dad died when he was 11. So anyway, some believe that he had wooden teeth, but that was not, that's not true. Um, it's not true that he didn't have wooden teeth. People did believe that. But it was a, I love learning about George Washington. He was a real man of character. And just hearing his history was super fun. The kids love the book. Um, so then we also talked about natural resources and manufacturing. And this was all, like I said, free material, just cut and paste. And then, um, let's see. We talked about the United States of America geography, how many square miles it is. My son wrote in the kilometers because it was also listed. But um, let's see. Oh, this might be glued down. I'll have to do that in a minute. Um, also, her, her journey. And we numbered it, like where she went first. Um, yeah, so he just made a giant mess. You can see his little longhorn here because in the book she's like, look for a Texas longhorn. That's how you'll know you're in Texas. So that's kind of fun. Um, we also did, I had the kids do, you see my son made George Washington look crazy. Sorry, he's a boy. I don't know what to say for him. Um, let's see, yeah, so here's the geography. The bordering bodies of water, the number of states, the bordering countries. And I got out our globe to do that. Um, another resource that I used just to 
mix it up here is I have this USA map. I got it from Rainbow Resources like two years ago. And so every Friday I would just dump this out on the table and we'd put it together and use it as a reference as we were talking about America. Like even as we were talking about her journey around America, the book has a picture of it, but you know, they also have the puzzle. And that was kind of fun. Um, so in that I had them Google the different um, landmarks in America. And so and they would write information about each of them. So um, yes, see my son, he kind of rushed through it as you can see. But to me it's more important that he gets the the knowledge down because I lap books are about having fun and learning. Um, I'm not necessarily critiquing his grammar on this. Um, okay, so we talked about that and then I had each of the kids pick a state that they want to learn about. Um, we're from California. We live in Texas now. And so my son did California and he actually traced the puzzle piece. And then he did a page on like a date of statehood, um, the capital, the California flower, the tree, the bird, um, famous Californians. It's just kind of funny that he did that. Uh, if you go to California, where you should visit. And he actually went on like a travel site and found like the top five places to see in California. So that was kind of fun. Um, he used this book. I got this like at a thrift store like years ago, the 50 States Fact Book. So, and he loves to learn. So he kind of reads that on his own. And I also had like an atlas um, and then like a younger kids USA book, which they didn't use it per se. They just kind of looked through it for reference. Um, and then let's see the natural resources. We talked a lot about natural resources. What is a natural resource? You flip it open. Materials found in nature that are useful to people. We use a dictionary for that. And then examples of resources in the United States. We read a lot about this. I know it's kind of fun because um, we do fun schooling Tuesday through Thursday. And my son has a Minecraft book. So he's been learning about mining like already. And so it was kind of cool because I didn't really mean for these subjects to merge. But he's already been kind of Googling stuff like that and trying to learn about mining and materials and natural resources. And then here we go. We're talking about it in America. So this is a lap book by my 10 year old. Of course, um, you could always have the option to color this, these in. I think they even print off in color. I just don't because I'm cheap. But I loved how it turned out and he was very proud of it. And um, if you want to do a lap book on how to make a cherry pie and see the USA, all the materials are on homeschoolshare.com and I will list that resource for anyone interested. So happy homeschooling. Thanks.